The Farrison Banks is a, a labyrinth of coral reefs and islands that's in the southern part of the Red Sea. Hundreds of coral reef atolls that differ in size and shape. These features are very unique. From the air, you just see this huge, you know, range of shapes and colours, and it's just truly really beautiful. My name is Dr. Shannon Klein, and I am a research scientist at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. My goal is to look for deep features within the labyrinth of coral reefs that we know as the Harrison Banks and to characterise the environment from the shallowest part of these deep beaches right down to, to the most dramatic points at, at the lowest depths. Understanding how uh, marine organisms will interact with their environment and then in turn how they affect their own environment. The Farrison Banks is a centre for biodiversity Especially in the Red Sea, there is a lot of uh, larger mammals like whales and dolphins, uh, whale sharks, numerous species of turtles. So uh, it's almost this kind of hotspot for biodiversity. Yeah, yeah, stop. It's also warmer, it's more saline. So understanding how ecosystems within the Red Sea are so good at uh, dealing with these conditions and, and thriving is incredibly interesting uh, from a research perspective. And understanding how uh, the ecosystems flourish um, in this sea uh, can pro provide us with valuable information about uh, ecosystems around the world. In this expedition, we've been targeting deep features. We found crevices between large reef structures that can be several kilometers wide. Um, and then we also have the shallower, deeper lagoons inside uh, a reef itself. One of the defining features and why it's so incredibly unique is that we get these really uh, stark vertical walls. So we can go from something like three or 400 meters to this insane wall of coral reef that at the surface will be only a metre or two metres deep. This one here has some uh, shallower features in the middle, so if we were going to sample this one, we would try and uh, uh, use the mapping to identify the, the deepest point. Uh, which is going to give us a really nice profile of what type of chemistry is going on in terms of water chemistry. Um, and then also for sampling, it gives us a very nice profile. We can see what's going on at the surface. And then also as we go in down into those deeper layers. This one also has limited access for a, uh, the metal shark to get in and do some mapping. So it's going to be very difficult to characterize. So one of the main challenges was that uh, the navigational maps or, or how deep some of these areas are within this labyrinth of coral reefs hasn't been explored since 1888. We don't have recent um, mapping of the sea floor in this area. So we're truly exploring uh, things that haven't really been seen um, for well over a hundred years. Nose in here real slow. So at the moment we're trying to, to navigate or find a passage into this deeper feature so that the, the boat doesn't you know, scrape along the bottom. This looks a little deeper here. Can you open the chart please to monitor the dip? We're off the chart. There's no info. Okay. I think we got this. Ready? Ready. Hit it. So maybe when we get up here, we'll just, you know, stay on the inside of this data. Or just right along the edge. Okay. These little white peaks here, they, uh, they stop at about 10 meters. So I'm thinking most of the inside here is gonna be 10 meters shallow. Some of them are fully enclosed, so they're almost like a, a natural laboratory for us to, to study. We were thinking about hitting like here. Do you know which way the current's going at the moment? So we were hoping like here. It might be the deepest point. Okay. Yeah, like anywhere in around here, cool. just next to that ridge where the deepest point yeah. is just here would be awesome. Right. 
As scientists, but when we go into a project, we go in with a series of questions or hypotheses, but as soon as we're getting more information, there's just more and more questions that arise. And this is one of the most exciting parts of, of, of looking at such unique ecosystems. It's incredibly important that we explore these features and, and things that maybe have not been studied before. Discovering these types of unique ecosystems is incredibly important because we know that the ocean and all the animals within it are incredibly connected.